But so far, the odds have not been in our favor here. Come on, odds gods, I don't want to end the year like this. Come on, give me something just ridiculous in this egg. Please, 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 please. What do we have? Oh my gosh. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog, and welcome to this sad, lonely, one-clutch incubator. That's right, we are on our last ball python clutch of the year, and then the incubator is empty for a few months, and I get to shut it down. What do you say we just go ahead and cut this last clutch and have an amazing time together? This is actually a fire bee bred to a pastel, so theoretically there could be super pastels, pastels, fires, spiders, bumblebees, all kinds of mixes in that. I will say that there was a couple other males thrown in at the last minute because the last clutch oftentimes is like, oh my god, just produce the clutch, throw males in. So really, I don't know what we're gonna get out of this clutch. What do you say we jump into the first egg? And there's a good chance that just within an egg or two, I'm gonna have a pretty good feel whether or not that was the father or not. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Hmm, interesting. What do we have? Looks like just a little pastel to me. Hmm. I wouldn't have expected that. I thought that there might be something else. So just one pastel, a single gene animal for our first egg. But there's eight eggs in this clutch. So uh, we gotta get something cool eventually, right? Let's go on to egg two. Here we go. So far we haven't really learned anything from the first egg, but we'll, we'll see if we get something else from the second egg. Okay, right off the bat, I can definitely tell that it's a spider, which tells me that that fire bee probably was the father. And I'll be honest with you, it looks like that's actually a fire bee right there, which would actually be a pastel, a fire, and a spider. And you can really tell by how clean it looks. It's definitely a bumblebee, but it looks like it's definitely a fire as well. So there you go. We probably know at least the father is the fire bee, and we know the females are pastel, so theoretically we should get some super stuff, or what they call killer bees, or maybe killer bee fires, or something like that. Let's keep moving on. All right, come on, last clutch of the year. You gotta give me some crazy cool odds, please. I always love ending the year on something amazing. Okay, <laughs> we're not really hitting amazing yet. This is just a single gene fire. So again, the fire bee is a fire pastel spider and this would be a single gene fire. So, so far out of three eggs, we've had a single gene pastel and a single gene fire. But hey, we have like five eggs to go, so we're gonna get better. Oh, <laughs> give me something amazing. Give me something amazing. All right, what do we have here? Oh, it looks pretty. Oh, you know what? This is actually just a fire spider. Okay, so this is a two-gene animal. It's a fire and it's a spider, which is really a beautifully clean, amazing animal. But so far, the odds have not been in our favor here. Come on, odds gods. I don't want to end the year like this. Let's keep going. There we go. Nice plump egg here. Let's see what we got inside here. Okay. This one looks like just a firefly, which is a fire pastel. Again, only two genes. It's just so weird that we're just not hitting the odds. We only have four eggs to go. We better get something amazing. Don't get me wrong, I'm still happy with hatching anything, and I'm excited, and I'm a little bummed that this is my last clutch, but uh, let's go ahead and cut these last four eggs. Come on, give me like a killer bee fire something crazy in this egg. Oh my gosh, it's another fire spider ball python. So another two gene animal. Uh, this is kind of crazy, but that's all right. It's all right. We still have a couple more eggs. Come on, come on, come on. This is actually pretty funny. I think it's hilarious to be honest with you. What do we have in this egg here? Okay, again, this looks like probably another firefly which is a pastel fire. Looks like another one. Listen, we only have two eggs left to go. One egg is actually already pipped. I think it looks like a pastel to be honest, but we're gonna go ahead and cut into it. So one real egg to reveal left. Fingers crossed. Come on, give me something just ridiculous in this egg. Please, 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 please. What do we have? Oh my gosh. It's another fire spider ball python. So, so far we have not hit one animal that has more than two genes. I take that back. We did get the fire bee which has three genes. So we had one with three genes, we had a couple two genes, and we had a couple one gene animals. One egg to go, this one already picked out, didn't look like it was gonna be anything breathtaking. So let's go ahead and see what's in this last egg. And here we go, let's see what is in here. And there you are. Looks like actually a super pastel probably. It could be a firefly, because fireflies and super pastels look really similar, but I have a feeling that that is actually a super pastel. You can really tell by the faded head and stuff like that. We'll see what's going on. So, so there it is, guys. Uh, razor blade, 
gone for the year. I don't need that anymore. Last clutch cut. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. This by far was kind of a culmination of the entire year. I had some beautiful highs where we hit some crazy stuff and I had some big kind of letdowns where it was like kind of missed the odds a little bit. This clutch definitely didn't kill the odds, but that's all right. We still had an amazing year. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. We are now starting to breed snakes again, so we're going to have eggs before you know it. So that wraps up the incubator and I am out of here at BHB's incubator for the next, I don't know, four or five months, whatever the case might be. I hope that you enjoyed Let's go ahead and head over to the Reptarium and BHB and uh, shut down the incubator. Just getting over to the Reptarium, and just so you guys know, every morning we come in, you never know what you're going to expect. Obviously, Casper started to shed over here. There's shed over here. Uh, there's a couple of cages that I saw that had poop in the water. Got to figure it out. Uh, the hundred flower rat snake shed all over the cage. I mean, that's just kind of part of what we do. We come in in the morning. Hey, Abasuka, what are you doing? Oh, you want to get fed, little one? Oh my God! Of course, Bella's over here, and that's basically it. You come in, you kind of assess what's going on, you clean up what needs to be done, we feed all the things that need to get fed. I do have a tour today before we open up it's a one hour tour so that should be really fun and then we open for tonight should be absolutely amazing oh my god it's gonna be great so let's get to work the first thing we need to do is work with Casper here you can see he shed all over his cage here but more importantly he's got some stuff shed on him too so we're gonna go ahead get him in some lukewarm water get him in a soak that way we can clean his cage up and oh look at this uh, he messed up his water bowl pretty good so no worries I actually have that strainer I might be able to use or I probably just use a shot back on this one but let's get him in soak and go ahead and clean his cage up Casper's being a little cheeky monkey. He actually broke his tree branch off in his cage, so uh, we definitely uh, we will fix that in a second. For now, we're just getting him in the water. looks absolutely incredible all the shed is off he seemed to really love the water this is the first time we've soaked them. and quite honestly you know when you're in a breeding situation a lot of snakes don't get soaked unless they absolutely have to so I'm not sure if this is the first time Casper has ever had a soak like this so it's pretty awesome and he seems to absolutely love it so let's go ahead and get Casper back in the cage and let's get ready for this first tour of the day having a great time with my family from Dayton Ohio right yep Dayton, right. Ohio. <laughs> you guys meet Easy Bella car. Did she come down and say hi to you guys? Yeah. <laughs> hey, She's so cool. She is so neat, isn't she? You know Elvis a little bit? Yeah. Hey, Elvis, what are you doing? He's like, I don't remember this box being here. Elvis, what are you doing, sweetheart? You're going to be awesome. <laughs> like dinner and a massage. You missed it. He opens his mouth so big. And uh -huh, then just and gets then like just... very little. <laughs> You're not very coordinated, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> kind of wrapping things up with Sunrise, of course. Always got to take it out. What do you guys think of her? Did you have a favorite? Um, My favorite lizard was probably Toothless. Oh, Toothless is amazing. Yeah. Um, spider. Spider? Oh, yeah, that's Ooh. right. Yeah, they. the whole family held spiders. You said you didn't want to hold spiders. You said you didn't want to, nope. but you guys did, so. I had to. You had to, yeah. so it was awesome. Yeah. So I'm proud of these guys. Every one of them held, every one of them held a spider, and they all did absolutely incredible. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you had fun. It was awesome hanging out. You guys are coming back tonight to hang with me, right? Yeah. Definitely. Okay, you guys enjoy yourself. I'll see you soon. All right. Okay. Bye. 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 So the first tour was absolutely incredible. Again, I've been so lucky to get such amazing people that want to come and visit. It was such a good time. And once again, the big snake was kind of a big hit. So uh, regardless, we've got some things to get ready before we open for the Reptarium here in about an hour. Super excited to be adding this animal ambassador to the zoo today. I mean, it's unbelievable. This, of course, is a Dielbert's python. Just look at the sheen and beauty of that animal. For now, we're just gonna put it in this display right here. We'll definitely add some branches and stuff like that here pretty soon, but we'll see if it likes it back here and just see what happens. But, oh my gosh, this snake is so gorgeous. Years ago, we used to actually breed these guys. I mean, like 15, 20 years ago. So it's really cool to finally have one. And look at how they climb. I mean, oh, that is something else. We got the tortoises out tonight. He is so fast. Turtle on the loose. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Little Franklin over here. Mama, Mama, where are you going? I don't know where he's going. 
As always at the Reptarium, we have a lot of animals out. Of course, Joker, the scaleless Texas rat snake. We got the beautiful pastel pied. And we always have to have new stuff for so people that do want to keep coming have something. Of course, I showed you guys earlier. We have the Dialbert's Python, the white lid Python now. Uh, doing absolutely amazing. And you don't normally see these guys so docile. So that's what makes this thing so cool. Look at how gorgeous that thing is. Oh, yeah. And there it is, another day at the Reptarium and BHB in the books. Tonight was absolutely fun. We had a ton of really cool people. We had an absolute blast. It's such a cool time spending here at the Reptarium. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and shut down the vlog and get ready for another amazing day tomorrow. I hope that you have an incredible day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me and I truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make sure to leave a comment down below because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.